Capricorn. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope you are well. I hope you are fabulous. A uh, quick shout out to Capricorn Nick. Thank you so much for investing in the equipment to the ASMR channel. I do look forward to using it. Whew, it's a hell of a learning curve, but we are learning. Yes, progress in all things. All right, what's going on? And for those of you who have followed me over onto my alternative ASMR channel, Whispering Stacks, thank you so much. It's, it's an absolute pleasure to do what it is that I love. All right, so I hope you grow with me. If you'd like to learn more about it, it's in the description box, yeah? All right, what's going on? Show me that Capricorn energy, please. Show me what's going on. Once more, we are using the Labyrinth te uh, Tarot deck because we absolutely love it. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Capricorn energy. What's up? What's going on? As I say, we, we better be lit. <laughs> It's so funny how that it's something's going on right now. It's like, did I did I do that thing? And you just have <laughs> visual confirmation. Everything's lit. <laughs> What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What is going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Capricorn. Energy. What is going on? Show me that. <laughs> Houston, Houston, are we lit? <laughs> ah! What's going on, please, for that Capricorn energy? What's up? What's going on? Judgment in reverse. Timing's not right for something. I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like there's a bird right inside my house. So it's right outside my door then. Wow. <laughs> it's so, oh, for goodness sake. Are you serious? Well, first of all, let me know if you have some Taurus in your chart. There started out uh, rough like that as well. Nine of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. I do not read the baseline in the downright. I have been doing tarot reading a long time. This is what works for me. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Your current individual energy. The one that surrounds you. King of Pentacles. Okay. We had a rough road here. In what looks like a committed energy. Nine of Wands. There's some exhaustion. I don't know why. It looks like we have a strong energy here. Ten of Pentacles. So it's kind of like, hopefully it was the, the fight worth fighting for, right? You have a Ten of Pentacles. We have a legacy. We want to protect that at all costs. So Nine of Wands isn't just exhaustion. Fighting for the sake of it is also knowing what is worth fighting for. So I'm looking at a Capricorn that, yeah, your Ten of Pentacles was worth fighting for. Obviously, you built something with somebody, right? We have the Queen of Cups as well as the King of Pentacles here. You and them. All right, let's keep on keeping on. What was causing that kind of discord, the pushing away or the conflict? I don't know, but there was obviously something here worth working through, right? With that Ten of Pentacles energy, or at least that was the idea. Two people coming together to preserve this Ten of Pentacles. All right, we're going to see what caused the tension, and we're going to see who contributed what, if there's still work. Um, yet left to be done, and so forth. What's going on, please? What is going on? Uh, Knight of Wands in the future. Okay, cool. Six of Pentacles. Okay, that's interesting. And the King of Cups, your advice. Five of Pentacles. Okay, okay. Judgment is the overall, so it is your decision to make then. Okay. The Fool's Underline. To start a new chapter in life or not. Mm, okay. So we have a potential matching sweet mate here. King and Queen of Cups. But it is potential. It does look like uh, your energy is exploring the idea of new. Something more fair and balanced. Something a little more engaging. Something a little more exciting. Five of Pentacles is your advice. Um, you have to be willing to make that decision. Judgment. Overall. For some of you, it might have been on your mind for some time. It could be the one surrounding you. I don't know. But the idea is, is this worth fighting for anymore? Okay. I got two strong energies here. But perhaps you two are not compatible or on the same page anymore. It looks like in future you are open, or at least your energy is open into exploring the new. A new passion, a new love. But it would require leaving the old behind. Shedding one's old skin. Okay. The abandonment here, and it's a conscious decision, it's judgment surrounding you. So this might have been on your mind for some time. Okay. Perhaps trying to preserve this Ten of Pentacles has proven to be too much of a strain, or it's an ongoing argument that never gets resolved. Something like that. Okay. All right. What's going on? 
there is what looks like Capricorn a call for new in the future. You seem to be attracted to it. It seems to be appealing to you, both energetically with that Knight of Wands as well as emotionally with that King of Cups. Okay, there's something here that does seem to be intriguing you. It does look like you want to explore it. It's not as well-founded as this Ten of Pentacles, but there is something here. Okay, let's see what's going on. What is going on? Let's see, which one, please? Okay, let's do this one. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible. Clarification for Capricorn. Show me Capricorn, please. Show me that Capricorn energy, please. What's up? What's going on? I just saw it on the split. This is not card does not belong here. It's the Six of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it's old soul bond energy. You've known this person a minute, and that makes the kind of decision that much harder. That belongs over here. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. What is going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Capricorn. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Capricorn energy. What's going on? Devil energy, there you are. What you looking at? The star is behind you. And there's that Ten of Pentacles. You are seriously contemplating that homestead energy, moving on, moving towards it moving away from it, you don't seem to quite know your direction yet, but it is on your mind, particularly if there's this idea of non-resolution. If I cannot balance this contract, maybe I need to let it go. Mm -hmm. That seems to be on your mind quite a bit. How long you've been fighting for this particular Ten of Pentacles, I do not know, but it looks like it's exhausting enough. You often have to retreat from it. Again, another card that's not supposed to be here, Four of Swords. You often retreat from it, or you don't take any action towards it because it's a conscious decision on your part and you're not quite convinced of the direction yet. It does look like something or someone else is calling you in the future. Your energy seems to be more positively engaged. Okay. Some of this Nine of Wands, please, in the recent past, we have exhaustion here, fighting. Fighting, trying to move forward simultaneously. You know, that's just not how it works, right? Can we just move forward, please? Can we just move forward? But somebody's putting up the resistance. Let me know if you're dealing with cancer. We have Chariot here. <sighs> trying to move forward, and uh, yet, how can you, right? A Chariot, water, forward momentum, and yet it's constantly met with road bumps. The problem is, is you're not on the road. You're supposed to be in the water here. Um, the bigger part of somebody's energy is just kind of like a desperate plea. Can we please just move forward? Can we please have some calm? Can we please have some tranquility? Does it always have to be a fight? Does it always have to be an argument? Can't we just move forward? And somebody else is like, no, actually, no. No, actually, no. <laughs> I'm not done arguing. I'm not done being defensive. I'm not done pushing the other person away. And yet, I'm still angry. So it's, it's, what is, what is the cause of frustration here? tower. Ooh. Somebody wants somebody else to realize something very important. Heavy water concepts here, Scorpio as well as Cancer. Doesn't have to be Hermit. There's something here I want you to understand. The other person just wants to move forward. The other person wants their energy recognized. If somebody wants something recognized and it's not being recognized. What is this? It's Calamity. Oh, the hair font. What about it? What about the hair font energy? Are you happy? I insist I need to know the truth because I just feel like you're not happy. This whole I want to just move forward thing isn't working for me. That's a hell of a lot of majors, by the way, just on your opening card, Nine of Wands. We have the cherry here, the tower, the hair font, and the empress, and the high priestess. Holy shit. Somebody knows the other person is greatly, and I mean greatly, dissatisfied. It's distinct. The other person feels it intuitively. There's a resistance to this commitment. It does look like a commitment here. And the other person is demanding to know why. Why are you so unhappy? Do you even want to move forward? And the other person's like, I'm saying I want to move forward, don't I? Here, here I am, moving forward. 
and the other person's like wanting the truth. What do you want from us? What do you want from this relationship? What do you want from this commitment? And so forth and so on. Tell me you're happy. Tell me you're happy. Tell me you're happy. Tell me what the problem is. Tell me what the problem is. The other person's like, I don't have a problem. I just want to move forward. Somebody is greatly resisting. The other person is insisting. So there is this tension here of resistance and insistence. It is a very intense... I hate to use the word game, but it's a very intense game of back and forth. Uh, somebody is resisting, the other person's insisting. Uh, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Are you happy? Is this the commitment that we want? Are you, what is going on here? So let's see what's up with this Ten of Pentacles. That's a very strong-willed game here. I don't care for that at all. It doesn't feel like anyone's yielding, but somebody wants to know the truth at all costs, and the other person's like, I just want to move forward. Show me this Ten of Pentacles, please. This is obviously the committed energy between you and someone else. Some of this Ten of Pentacles is the Five of Pentacles, for fuck's sake, and the lovers. Yes? Okay. So let me know if you're connecting with straight-up Gemini. Okay. Very strong connection here. It's also at the committed level. All right? So this person, this partner, all right, you know something's off with them. They know something's off with you. That's why there's so much insistence. I know something's not right. I know something doesn't feel right. Are you in this anymore? Because there is a disconnect here from the lover here. Very strong. Somebody can feel it intuitively. But as far as I can tell, these two energies are still very much entwined. The other person's insisting on moving forward without acknowledging the issue. The other person keeps insisting that they know there's a problem, but the other person's not giving that up. Um, to my knowledge, you two are still in it, or at least you were in the recent past. It's going to require Five of Pentacles is now here twice, once under your advice and energetically speaking, even though this person is still fundamentally tied to you in the material world with that Ten of Pentacles, you two are still very much at a distance from each other. Okay, at least on the connection level, that soul connection level, okay? The lover's energy, which is complicated. It always is. Okay, but you two have managed to acquire a life together in some way. There is strong committed energy here, very much so. And the other person wants to know, why are you so dissatisfied? Why are you so disconnected from me? I used to be able to feel you seamlessly, and you used to be able to feel me seamlessly. We could finish each other's thoughts and sentences, and we knew what the other person's concerns were before they even said anything. It was that kind of seamless energy, until one day it wasn't. And it became a constant source of tension. I just feel like there's something you're not telling me. I just feel like you're not happy. I just, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. And the other person's like, I don't know what you're talking about. So why they are so disconnected, I don't know. I do know that you two have a very strong life together. That's what I'm saying. But the connection is broken. Like you two aren't matching frequencies anymore. Okay, you two always used to be on the same wavelength, you always used to be on the same channel, as it were, you always used to know how to tune each other in, and now I'm not seeing that. What I'm seeing is discord, and the other person's like, slow up, slow up, what the hell is going on, will you just talk to me please, I don't understand why I can't feel you anymore, or I don't understand why I can't feel you in the context of this relationship or commitment anymore, where the hell did you go? Okay, something like that. Mm. Let's see what your feeling is telling you. Queen of Cups, Sex Relevant Tarot. The bigger part here is that somebody has a stronger sense of feeling and intuition. It's coming up under your individual energy. Show me this Queen of Cups, please. Show me this Queen of Cups, please. Show me this Queen of Cups, please. For Capricorn, show me this Queen of Cups, please. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you'd like to know what's going on in their heart space, and that's absolutely reasonable. Makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> you want to know what's going on in their heart space. You don't really seem to know. It could be a variety of things in your opinion, but you really don't seem to know. Um, you feel about it a lot. Mixed emotions, exactly. That's the definition of mixed emotions right there. Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. I really don't know what they're feeling. And that's what all you really want to know. What are they experiencing? What are they feeling? You feel left out from this person's life experiences, but you two are meant to be connected. Okay? You don't really seem to know what they're feeling. 
you seem to think that in time they'll come around. You can't see when exactly, but there's this underlying idea here. In time they'll communicate with me when they're ready. I don't really know when that is, Eight of Swords, but I just know that in time, if I'm patient, they'll come around and communicate with me about what's up with them. You would love to know, and all you can really do is guess, and that sucks. It sucks, Capricorn. You feel or sense intuitively that it's something to do with the emotional aspect of this person. That they have mixed feelings about something complex that you don't quite comprehend. And that's one of the reasons why you would love to know more about what the hell they're experiencing. Because you feel excluded. Uh, but all I see you doing is showing them patience. Hoping that they will open up and communicate to you. It could be a variety of things. Okay? In your estimation, you know, you're like, Seven of Cups, it could be this, it could be this, it could be this. I don't really know Two of Pentacles, um, but I trust with that underlying energy that they'll come around and tell me what's bothering them in time, right? But this has been going on for a while. Um, so what's going on in your person's world is exactly that. The only problem I have here is that you feel excluded from it, right? The King of Pentacles, the one that surrounds you, a very strong sense of that Earth energy here. We're about the Ten of Pentacles. We're about the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the fellow Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Show me this King of Pentacles, please. Show me this King of Pentacles, please. What's going on with this person? Show, oh, what? Page of Swords. Okay. They themselves may not know what the hell's going on. They might be trying to understand about themselves as well. The world is in reverse. How so? They got something on their mind. They got something on their mind. Yeah, no shit, but what is it? From what I can tell, it's very anxiety-based. Nine of Swords to the Queen of Wands. I don't know what it is that your person's experiencing, but it's intense. There's a certain mental gravity to it, okay? There is a certain mental, and I would dare say aggression. So on the outside, your person looks kind of calm, almost disengaged, I would dare say, with that King of Pentacles, Page of Swords. They kind of have a loose eye on things, a loose eye on their situation. They're, they're not neglecting the home, as far as I can tell. I hope not, okay? Um, it's just they're kind of keeping a loose eye. They're kind of disengaged from the world. I, the world's in reverse. They're still a part of it, but they're keeping a loose eye on it. There's something about this person's world where they have just kind of retracted their energy. They're kind of spaced out. They're kind of separated, okay, from the experience of the real world. Uh, they have a loose eye on the situation. The world's in reverse, though. They kind of check. I can see why you're concerned. They're very disengaged. Um, there is a certain aggression to their mental anxiety, to their thoughts, specifically. <sighs> What is going what is this person thinking about so much? There's almost a kind of aggression to their thoughts. I don't what is this? Nine of Cups. What about their satisfaction? It's changing. What make what they don't know how to articulate? Is that something about what made them satisfied is changing? Their idea of what makes them happy, personally, on the personal level, with that Nine of Cups energy is changing, and they're not in a position to articulate it or even understand it yet. They don't seem to know. So anybody who undergoes these kinds of changes where this idea that this thing has always made me happy, fill in that blank, and then over time it starts to make us less happy. We don't know why, usually not at the forefront. Sometimes we're lucky enough that we have a very specific incident there. It's like, you know what? I can tell you the day and time I stopped liking that. <laughs> but for most people, it kind of wears out over time. And um, this person's going through some sort of major emotional shifting where they're no longer taking pleasure in something that they used to take pleasure in, or they no longer have access to it, or their feelings about something or someone have changed. And they're not, I don't know that it has anything to do with you or the commitment yet, but I do know it's large enough that it's made your person kind of withdrawn and um, they keep a loose eye, but they're not terribly engaged with the world either. The one specifically, which, by the way, they seem to have created with you. So I can see why you're so concerned, and I can see why you occasionally reach out and poke, hey man, what's up with you? What's going on? 
you can sense there's a sadness you can sense from this person like you can't access their true feelings and that's because Capricorn as far as I can tell they themselves don't understand how much change they're undergoing right now they themselves you can't this is what's really frustrating in relationships be they two weeks old or two years old or 20 years old you can't force someone to speak the truth when they themselves don't understand it okay there is nothing so bad in this world is when you encounter a human being who doesn't know what they want okay that's already difficult um but let's say you've always known this person more or less what their desires and their goals are and they start to change and it's even a surprise to them because they're clearly not looking for it they're just disengaged from their own experiences something that they used to get pleasure from is no longer the same and they started to withdraw from the world and their thoughts are quite aggressive they probably wonder why they themselves are so dissatisfied and um, as far as I can tell you're being patient you seem to know that they have been emotionally affected to some extent wow or high wow or how or why excuse me I'm exhausted um, you don't know but you seem to be waiting for them to kind of figure it out so they can enlighten you okay so that's I have to agree that's probably the best course of best course of action um, like I said you can't force the truth from somebody when they themselves don't even know what it is and it would suck if your person knows the truth and they just don't have the guts to say it that's different I'm not seeing that I'm saying somebody who's undergoing changes with something that used to give them pleasures and those pleasures are changing except they just it's almost that's what it is it's like they're mentally chastising themselves they're experiencing some sort of emotional funk or emotional fatigue or they're just not happy they don't have the wherewithal to to really embrace that and say I I don't know how to express I'm unhappy I don't know how to express that so I'm just gonna withdraw I'm gonna check out because then I I don't have to deal with it that could be it as well because this person's kind of, I told you their thoughts are kind of aggressive like they're attacking themselves for having confused feelings or being checked out they're accusing themselves what's wrong with you they kind of keep a loose eye on their life in the situation they have with you look normal act that's what it is look normal act normal look normal act normal look normal act normal that's what it is what is changing so drastically for them I don't know but it's kind of large and it's enough for this person to have checked out okay um, and there's always something right there was always something you two might have moved recently FYI just the chariot with the tower the tower doesn't have to be some like oh this is some huge enlightenment of some devastating thing and I just came to terms with it oh my god sometimes it's actual physical breaking down of household plus the chariot movement so for some of you yeah you might have literally relocated with your person and that was quite the upheaval already and that's when you noticed it for some of you FYI and that's when you might have started noticing this person's kind of mental gunk okay that kind of withdrawn I'm here but I'm not here um, kind of absenteeism even though they're physically there that's when but you didn't you didn't prod it too hard high priestess we felt something was off right we felt something was off with our person and uh, are you sure about this is it related to this is it related to this and the other person's like no 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 we're moving forward we're moving forward it was aggressive it happened fast possibly for some of you boom and you're like you know what if we are moving this fast or we're transitioning this fast that might have put this person into a funk you know there's a lot going on we're disconnected from our household again five of pentacles minus that ten of pentacles some of you might have relocated sold your house sold your business something like that loss of sense of home or direction temporarily so again given those circumstances you kind of wrote that off as are you sure you want to do this you seem a little unhappy you seem a little disconnected and the other person's like no no it's not about that it's not about that it's not about and it's not about that it wasn't about that not a lot not really something else somebody's personal sense of pleasures have changed okay let's see what's going on here um now that aside your energy looks like it's experiencing what I might call a breath of fresh air it's a little different from this top line okay I'm going to see what's going on here. Uh, we have a Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and King of Cups. Now, don't get me wrong. You might be reinvigorated with your person in future. And if so, great. It does feel like fresh energy, but I'm not sure. 
Five of Pentacles would require abandonment, though. Or, I am seeing your hopes for improvement to get back to some sense of balance with this person, to be excited with this person again. And if you can, not Five of Pentacles, it still stands. I don't know. Currently, I'm leaning towards... It feels like new energy, but I could be wrong. Yes, this one. Okay, show me what I need to see, please. Don't worry, I'm going to pull some oracles on that and see if we can't uh, dig more out of there. I want to know what it is in their personal Nine of Cups that have um, that they associate with having ended something that pleased them, a habit, a ritual, something that they felt that they had to give up or simply doesn't feel or taste the same anymore. You know how it is that when you get older, your tastes literally change, and that's because your your taste buds mature as they're supposed to. So, like, for instance, when I was a kid, I fucking hated onions. Hated them. I thought they were the most disgusting, foul things in the world. It, it also, with that, mushrooms. I hated mushrooms and onions. Now, I'm an adult. Love onions. Still hate mushrooms. It's a texture thing. And also, it's fungus. Sorry. <laughs> I know some people freak out about that. It's like, how can you not love because honey? So, I don't understand people who don't love chocolate. Okay, and then there's uh, I have my own version of that. People don't understand how I don't love mushrooms. There you go. Okay, I don't understand people don't like chocolate. People don't understand how I don't like mushrooms. There you go. But my point is, is that as I grew up from childhood, I love onions now, and I incorporate them at all the time. Love it. Right? Tastes change. Something about this person's tastes have changed, or what used to give them pleasure has changed. But it's enough to make this person kind of moody, withdrawn, and I'm not gonna lie. There's a slight aggression to their thoughts. They might have gotten a little snappy, a little withdrawn. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Show me that Knight of Wands, please. Welcome. Everybody gets some of my nonsense. Uh, somebody, at least once a week. Somebody. <laughs> I guess it was your turn. I try to relate. I do, because I am a real person, as I often say. Real terror reflects real life, and I'm a real person. There you go. I don't do judgment because life is fucking hard. We do the best with what we can, while we can, with what we have. That's all anybody can do. Okay, so, show me the nice one, please. Show me that knight of wands, please. Show me that knight of wands, please. I hope things improve. We'll see. Show me this knight of wands, please. Show me this, okay. Ace of wands, I told you it was a new person. Uh... There's the excitement is here. The energy is here. It's very refreshed. It's very refreshed. Your energy looks like it's a lot. I told you. I told you. Six of Pentacles is twice. I, I, I swear to God, Capricorn, it feels like someone's asking you out. It really does look that. So what the hell happened to this person? I don't know. But it's looking like somebody wants to see you and are balanced. I knew it. I fucking knew it, man. It's like, yeah, maybe Capricorn gets reinvigorated with their person and they manage to find some Six of Pentacles balance. Okay. It may not be the Ten of Pentacles. Cool. But at least they're working on it. I'm telling you this is new energy. It's fresh as fuck. It's like Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. It feels like a chance meeting. I swear to God. Six of Pentacles for Six of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, your energy is so fucking invigorated. It's not even funny. It's almost like a chance encounter, or it's a scheduled meeting, and you were not expecting to meet a new energy. Not like that. For some of you. Oh, I gotta dig in. I'm gonna get all nosy on that one. Good. Your energy is so excited. Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. It's not this person. I'm telling you. It's either a chance meeting, Six of Pentacles, a closed, predictable environment, like you both met at the library, you both met at the bar, you both met at something. I don't know, but Six of Pentacles suggests practicality. There's a certain box to it. I agree to see you, or you agree to see me, or you're both in a public venue, okay? Um, it's a, like a chance encounter. I swear to God. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. It's a very strong sense of newness. I told you, it's not this person. I guess I it's renewal. See, I know. See, this person's energy signature you associate with Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. That's the homestead energy, right? No confusion there. So you're, I'm telling you, I'm, somebody injects you with new energy. King of Cups. Show me this King of Cups, please. Show me this King of Cups.
Show me this King of Cups, please. What's going on here? You already reflected a Queen of Cups. Your heart space is in good working order. You'd like to understand your person better, what they're going through. They don't seem to know, so they can't express it to you. Um, you notice the frustration of that particular division back here. But it looked like it was circumstantial. Like it, at the time, you could explain it if there was a busyness of activity and so forth. Um, your concern was always making sure your partner was happy. Show me this King of Cups. Okay. I fucking told you. Okay, I'm telling you right now, the fool, someone's coming towards you or you're going towards them. It's a chance encounter, same place, same time. You anticipate to talk to somebody, it's scheduled, but you two did not anticipate to spark. It, it, it's a breath of fresh air. You did not anticipate a spark. Not like this. Not like this. After, see, I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you, with the, the committed person, the hair font with the Five of Cups on the underlying, they are still confused about what makes them sad. They are still confused about what makes them sad. They're still in a contract with you, but they're still confused to this day about what makes them sad. They're missing something. They are emotionally abandoned from something, disconnected from the experience. They still have mixed feelings, but they're still there. It's no wonder then you're responding. Somebody is seeing you and experiencing you completely differently. Your energy is opening up to them and it's brilliant. And it looks unexpected. It looks so unexpected. The right place, the right time, all that. Jesus, I don't normally see things like this. It's like they remind you of that there's still hope in the world and still life out there. Your person's going through something. Um, and it has not improved over time. Some of this, the, the advice is five of pentacles. It's incredibly, that's you. You would have to make that decision, honey. You would have to make that decision. You, you'd have to choose to abandon your person. Uh, to uh, that, this person that I keep saying, the King and Queen of Pentacles, the Homestead energy. Okay. Um, it would require you making that particular sacrifice. All right. It could be a codependency thing at this point. You know, this perpetual cycle of they're always kind of detached. They don't seem to ever know what makes them happy. They're still confused about it. They still don't know how to articulate it. And I can tell you right now, the Five of Cups is intense energy. Everyone dismisses the fives. You shouldn't ever dismiss the fives. Five of Pentacles. Oh, they're afraid of being abandoned. Do you have any idea what that means? It's fucking terrifying. Five of Cups is emotional abandonment. It's regret. It's loss. It's all those things. Somebody is going. Somebody is so emotionally disconnected from themselves, what it is that makes them happy. There's something that they gave up on, or their taste or preferences for something has changed, or they no longer have access to that which made them happy. And they don't know how to articulate it, they don't know how to speak up, but they recognize they're in a commitment with you, and that that's not going to change anytime soon. Uh, you kind of still hope. There's this idea of I need to stop poking them or insisting that they figure it out because you seem to understand to some extent it makes them angry. Okay. Nothing's changed. I'm here, aren't I? I'm here. I'm still here, aren't I? I'm in this with you, aren't I, Capricorn? Isn't that enough? Leave me alone, please. There's something like that. They still don't know to this day what makes them unhappy. And that's their own particular experience. You can't help that. However, there is an energy in future that's introducing itself in a damn near grand fashion. I really thought you might be reinvigorated with this person, but it's that I knew it was different energy signature. I'm going to deep dive onto that, and I'm going to do some more diving onto this person. But yes, your advice is clear. You'd have to give up this person who simply is there, but isn't. They're there, but they're not there. They're in it, but they're not in it. They're comfortable, but they're not comfortable. They're going through the motions, but they're not happy. You'd have to choose you, Capricorn, devil, with that King of Pentacles. You would have to choose to abandon 
that particular King of Pentacles, that way of life. That's also who and she represent with the King and Queen of Pentacles. It's a certain way of life. You'd have to be willing to let that certain way of life go. That particular also comfort zone. It's not just them that's comfortable and not really willing to understand what makes them happy and improve themselves. You'd have to choose it too. It's not just them perpetually choosing you over and over again. You perpetually choose them too. Now to your part, your credit, the idea is that they'll feel better in time, they'll come around in time. I don't want to keep poking them, it seems to piss them off, right? And that's true for most people. Most people, when I used to work with students, um, my background as a counselor, uh, when you work with students who aren't ready to say, or anyone really, it's not just students, but that's just my background, so. Um, but when you work with anyone who doesn't know what they want and you kind of prod them, so what would you like to do? You hear that enough and you're going to get pissed off. Stop asking me. Because the frustration is coming from, I don't know. Why do you think I'm seeing you? See what I'm saying? That's exactly what it's like with this person. I don't know. So stop asking me. I'm fine. I'm here, aren't I? Leave me alone, something like that. So you've kind of eased off and just with that general sort of vague hope, I don't know what's upsetting my partner. I don't know what's making them feel so disconnected. I thought it was this, but they don't seem to have improved over time, something like that. Hopefully one day they'll come around and let me know what's going on with them. They don't because they're still no better informed. And that's greatly, this kind of, this kind of attitude, this disposition that they have is greatly influencing how much this new energy is influencing you in future because they are, like I said, a marked breath of fresh air. Okay, they still remind you a great deal that there's life to be lived and that there's still chapters you could potentially take. And love and passion, brand new opportunity. It, I, Capricorn, it invigorates you. It invigorates you very much so. This is the kind of shit people pay good money to see which I don't particularly do because I don't, I don't like lying to people. It's not my thing. This is the kind of shit people tune into tarot for. I understand you have problems. Here's this miracle to take you out of those problems. This is the kind of shit people absolutely love. I don't ever see this. I'm unhappy. Here's a buttload of happiness to come rescue me. I never see this. That's what people really like. Real terror flicks real life. Those are the people I speak to. So if this sounds like you, yeah, there is an interjection of very strong new start energy. How long this has been playing out with your person, I don't know. I don't know. But it's been long enough. All right. There is something back here that you can trace back to the start of the issue. A certain stress point. I know you can equate it very strongly to this particular stress point. Insistence and resistance. Constant. And it mellowed off enough in time that you two are still together. You can remember how it used to be when you two were so in sync. And you kind of hope that one day they'll come around when they know their truth. <sighs> They're not any wiser for wear though. That's my biggest concern. I never, ever, ever recommend you wait on anyone. You know, there's being in a commitment, and then there's being lost to one. That's what the devil energy really is. You know, losing yourself because you're just kind of used to it. That's not healthy. Mm. <clears throat> You'd have to abandon this comfort zone, this way of life. You know that. Judgment, it's your overall, it is your decision. And you have to ask yourself, is this a proper ten of cups that you're in? Judgment. Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment, please. A lot of people think this is what tarot is. You have problems, here's the problems, here's the problems, and here's your miracle. Mm-mm. -mm not like that, but in your instance, if this resonates with you, I must admit, that's a hell of a thing. That's probably as close as I've ever gotten to it. 
judgment. Okay, show me judgment. Okay, okay. Yeah, like I said, it's literally your decision. There really is no fuss about it. So if you have Aquarius in your chart, you need to be able to make that decision. I mean, I would use Aquarius if you had it in your chart, but yeah. The King of Swords over judgment. It is an active decision. This is not passive. So judgment, there's divine timing. Mm, not in this sense. It's your decision. So judgment typically has two major interpretations. Powerful, life-changing decision that one has to take ownership of, or two, divine timing, it's out of your hands. In this context, it's very much in your hands. It's within your power to make this decision. It would require you to abandon this person who is clearly not going to get out of their particular... They're just not willing. They're not really willing. If they're so unhappy, they don't seem to be any more inclined to learn why they're unhappy. Okay. And then you have to defend that decision. You have to be protective of your decision. Once you made it, you have to own it. You have to defend and protect that decision. Mm -hmm. And guard your own sense of happiness as well. I agree. Okay. Let's do some, um, what's going on with this person? Show me what I need to see, please. I want to know what's going on with this person. Why are they so detached? They're concealing. Concealing their sadness. I can see that. They don't seem to understand what it is that would make them happy. I know something about what did, quote-unquote, make them happy has changed, or they no longer have access to it. And they either don't know how to say it, they don't know how to express it, or they don't know how to come to terms with it. I don't know. What is this? What is provoking this person's sadness? What is provoking this person's sadness and detachment? What is this? What are they experiencing? Receptive. Yes, I understand that. Receptive is on the sideways. They don't really know how to open up their heart in a fair exchange. I've seen that. Can I get more of a core issue, though? Their heart doesn't really seem to be open to new adventures. There's a longing. There's an aching, and they don't know how to define it. There's a longing for something else, or someone else, or something else. I don't know what. They don't know how to... They're not really open. See, here's the problem. They're longing like most people are who are perpetually in Five of Cups or Five of Pentacles, there's always this longing for wanting more, but they're not open to actually receiving it, and it creates that constant state of tension. Everybody thinks that they know what they want. Then, when they're confronted with it, they almost always end up pushing it away. <sighs> there's something that this person, they, there's this longing in them for more, desiring more, particularly where the heart space is concerned, but they're also not open to receiving it either. Like I said, you'd actually have to put in the work to understand what it is that you want, own it, admit it, put words to it, and then put action behind it. For some reason, your person can't or won't because they're so terribly disengaged from their own life experiences and life choices. And I, I'm not trying to be harsh on your person. It's just you. I'm looking at a Capricorn who's been putting up with this for a long time. You've been shut out repeatedly and you just kind of blind faith hope that your person will come back around. And express. They haven't. In order for them to understand what it is they're longing for, they have to be open to receiving it. And they don't look like they're terribly open to receiving it. I'm telling you. Boundaries. Okay. No, they say they can't have it, or they don't, they're they not good enough, or they wouldn't be able to get it. Whatever it is, they put boundaries on themselves. Whatever it is that they think would make them happy, I don't know what this boundaries is. Perhaps they're too harsh, they're too disciplined, I don't know. Perhaps they don't know how to defend what it is that they feel. <sighs> like even That's what I was saying about decisions, owning your decisions. Even if this person owned what it is that they wanted, they wouldn't know how to reinforce it. Because first of all, you have to know what it is that you're longing for and you're missing. Then you'd have to own that, verbalize it, and make it happen and protect it. This person's not in that place where they can own what it is that they want, never mind, go after it, and then protect it. You have to make that decision and then stand by it. This person has a longing, but they told themselves, no, I can't have it, it's too ridiculous, it's too selfish, it's too stupid, it's too whatever, it's whatever. It, and that very thing that they say that they can't have or they wouldn't know how to get or they're not worthy of it is what keeps them so disconnected 
from you and from life in general. Because that world is in reverse with the Page of Swords. I'm not impressed with that at all. Somebody who's terribly withdrawn. They still do what they need to do with that King of Pentacles energy. But, uh, vows. Uh, uh, okay, I have vows. I'm in my commitment. So I've seen they've pulled up King and Queen of Pentacles. They've pulled up Ten of Pentacles. This is my vows. This is what I've signed up for. I'm in it to win it. You know, um, my feelings are irrelevant. I don't want any upheaval. I don't want any change. I'm also not willing to understand what makes me happy. And by proxy, I'm making my partner kind of miserable. But fuck it. I got vows, right? And um, somebody is just really not willing to push themselves. Limit is in reverse. Again, lack of boundaries. Someone does not push their limits. They don't. And if they do, it's for all the wrong reasons, like money and comfort. Comfort is very, very high on the priority list for your person. They're not willing to push their own limits about life, destiny, love, what it is that makes them happy. But it's also like, fuck, I'm committed. So I'm not willing to up... That's what I'm saying. It's it's marriage for the sake of marriage. It's commitment for the sake of it. Um, this person's no wiser for where about what makes them happy. So they they have a solitary sort of existence, even in the confines of that relationship. And it kind of dawns on you, doesn't it, epiphany, that this person's playing house or pretending. What keeps you locked into place are the memories. I can see how strong that connection used to be. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, this new interjection... Well, hold on now. I want to pull a couple of these, see where it goes. Can I get some hidden truths, please? Hidden truths that would benefit Capricorn. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, I would say so. Somebody has to be enlightened about this. I'm starting to understand our connection. Well, it's not the same, essentially. I see that for myself as well. It's not the same anymore. And I'm telling you, this interjection of new energy in future is really helping you earn, understand currently what it is that you have and how you are dissatisfied with it. Okay. Anything else, please? And also the enabling element I'm saying, I am becoming a better person. Mm -hmm. I am becoming a better person. I do believe you are. I don't see much effort on their part at all. It looks like a comfort zone thing. It looks like an enabling thing. It looks like a crutch thing. But they are still grossly disconnected from what it is that they truly feel and what it is that they truly want. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. This person has a huge fear of abandonment. Huge. And that w that's why the decision weighs so heavily on you. You'll know you have to trigger the thing that they fear the most. Um, I don't react when people mention you. Hmm. There's not much to say when they ask about your person, is there? I left you before you could leave me. They had all but checked out. We need to let each other go. Okay, you don't know how hard it is for me to let you go, so I can kind of see which way you're leaning, and I can't say that I blame you, Capricorn. Um, I hide behind material things. That's an excellent summary of this person. Again, classic enablement. I am very much dependent on this lifestyle, or so I think I am, but I use my vows to justify that, to cover it up. Okay, I justify my vows with Capricorn in order to maintain a lifestyle I'm not particularly engaged and or thrilled with. Okay. I want to see this new person. Can I see more on this new person, please? This is the Daydreamers. Somebody I need to see, please, for this new person. Can I get more on them, please? Personality aspects. Sign aspects. It looks brand new. This is not old soul. This is not X crap. Can I see who this is, please? Can I get more on this new person? New energy, new energy, new energy. Double aces, it engages your energy almost immediately. It's either happenstance, like you two meet at the grocery store or the library. So, I say library because that's like, that's me, that's my fantasy. Oh, I wish I could meet somebody new at the library. I'm such a 
dork. I spend so much time at the library. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, no, that's, it's like, it's like happenstance. Meeting at the same place at the same time, or it's a meeting. It's a planned meeting. It could be for work reasons, and that's when you meet this person. Your energy goes off towards them so fast, it's not even funny. Um... You're so invigorated by this person. They have an idea of life, what it is that they want to do with it. There is a certain creative element around them. They seem to be very invested in a particular world that they are passionate about. And it just, you, your energy is just so open to it. It's the exact opposite of this per person who shows no enthusiasm. There's no idea of, I know what I want and I'm going after it. Again, they don't push their limits. They're procrastinator. That's coming across rather strongly. They procrastinate. They push off. And then they wonder why they're still dissatisfied. Well, that's the price you pay for being a constant procrastinator. Um, you, have no, you have no reason to take pride in something, to see it develop over time. Okay, when you don't plan it, you don't work towards it, you know, you just put it off. Well, that's what you say about your dreams or your feelings. If you just put it off, what does that actually mean to them then? Not much, right? Um, this person's energy is the exact opposite. They're enthusiastic. They have plans and shit. Like, they have energy. And you're so attracted to this person's energy. Your energy is going straight towards them. You, it's interesting that you pulled up water twice. Under your reflection, you pulled up King and Queen of Cups twice. And, um, it could be the... This was a slow coming energy. Knight of Pentacles to the Sun. It could literally be a Leo. But you were slowly arriving to something that, or someone I should say, that makes you very happy. And it could literally be a Leo. But there's your energy. Okay. Moving into what looks like a very creative, warm energy. Very creative, very warm. Warm, 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 warm. Energy is warm. And it's so creative too enthusiastic, they make goals, they stick to their goals, that's what I'm saying, god dang, you are so, and it, look at that, knight of wands to judgment, yes, now this was divine timing, this is a decision you have to own it, as I was talking to Aries in their last message, it's a decision you have to own, and it's an uncomfortable one, it will require abandonment to this energy that's clearly, and it, they, they hide behind the material world, and they use the vows as the forefront of justification for staying in something that they're clearly not enthusiastic about, and they haven't been for a long time. That's been the major fight between you two. Okay? Um, but yeah, Knight of Wands and Judgment. This was divine timing. We'll be rushing towards it very quickly. Now, how quickly, I don't know. That Six of Pentacles, I'm seeing between you two. You two might agree to meet, uh, could be an Aquarius, it might be that you two agree to meet over and over again until you can clarify your own particular situation, but spiritually speaking and energetically speaking, your energy is taking the f*** off in this direction. You are totally 100% fired on all cylinders for this person. Um, can I get some advice, please, uh, for this person's energy. I want to go beyond your general advice. Can I get some more advice, please, when it comes to this new person's energy? Could literally be Leo or Aries. I'm sorry, Fire Sign in the general sense. Aries is sad. We also have a touch of Aquarius here. How would you advise Capricorn in this new energy? Okay. You, you have to see, I'm telling you, it's, it's really straightforward. I'm not going to keep digging. Uh, Eight of Cups to the Four of Wands. You have to walk away from the old Four of Wands energy. You two are not in a place where you're mirroring anymore. Not for a long time. I saw it back here. Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles to the Lovers. I know at one point this was like a divine connection. Somebody's needs stopped being met, but they themselves don't know how to express what those needs are. They don't know how to make themselves happy, in other words, but they justify staying in the relationship for the sake of being king or queen of pentacles, ten of pentacles, so forth, and vows. They hide behind their material world to justify their current relationship with you. 
This person's energy invigorates you immediately. This person has goals. They have ambitions. And you are lit the fuck up by it because it's the exact opposite of this person. Or at least it has been for a very long time. Like, you can't remember the last time this person was excited. You can't remember the last time this person had a goal and they wrote it down and they worked towards it. You can't remember the last time they didn't put something off until they talked themselves out of it. Which is horrible, by the way. When somebody does that perpetually, I have a goal, but I'm going to put it off to death. Right? There's... They don't push themselves and they don't try to explore what it is that makes them so unhappy and how they can improve it. And they never mind involve you because they themselves don't know. Anyway, your, your advice is simple. If you want to fully claim this new energy, which you find utterly engaging, you have to be willing to walk away from the old homestead there. Particularly for wands, that which used to make you happy, personally. Remember, four of wands, and I have to say this all the time, I have to correct this constant misinterpretation of the four of wands. Oh my god, it's Maharaj. No. It's one's personal happiness and then also marrying. You have to walk away from that which you understood made you happy because it hasn't for a long time, at least as far as I can tell. Yeah, I'm just I'm saying this person can't get out of their fucking five of cups. Like, seriously. It's like it's not enough to balance. I want to see some fight. I want to see some defensiveness of, of, of goals, hopes, wishes, and dreams. And that's why you're just so terribly open and excited by this new energy because they represent the exact opposite. You realize how tired you are of being emotionally disconnected and dissatisfied yourself. You know, it's it's been about this person and for a long time now. And you yourself need to realize you haven't been terribly happy either. Correct. For some of you, late December, early January will be very significant markers. I've seen the world's end for you a couple of times. So the world's end, December, January. Okay, and then also your season as we enter your season. Okay? In the general sense. But you're so terribly excited. So terribly excited. There's a good chance you will meet this person at work. Or again, structured systems. Heavy 8 and 8 energy. This is future timeline, so it could be by next Lion's Gate portal, which is 8 8, August 8th. Um, absolutely. That's also confirmation of Leo, by the way, for some of you at World's End, um, and for others of you, not till next August. Eight months minimum. Okay. It's kind of across the board, but that's typically how timeline and tarot is. I might get a stronger idea of when you make this decision. Again, tarot does not dictate action. You do. There are plenty of people who will be like, well, I'm in this as well. I have finances with this person. I have a mortgage with this person. I have bills to pay with this person. I have kids with this person. I'm not going anywhere either. Like I said, when the universe often confronts us with the new and what it is that, or who it is that we truly, truly want, we're often like, oh, I was looking for that. I was shopping for that, but I don't want it anymore. We all think we know what we want until we're confronted with it. The differences between you and your person, I'm looking at a Capricorn who's willing to defend their decision and push themselves. Your person, not so much. They're not willing to push themselves to understand why they're unhappy and what would make them happy and then defend it. You're very much turned on by somebody who represents the opposite of that. They have ambitions and goals, and you are so excited by it. Could be in a rigid work environment. Some of you are nurses. I don't know why I said I just saw that. I just saw the traditional nurse's uniform. That's what I was about to say. Some of you are healers. You're in the nursing profession. I just got confirmation of profession. Just nursing. That's all I saw. Sorry. But you might be in the healing field, absolutely. Um, some of you, your person is Sag. You might have some strong Sag in your chart. But uh, yeah, though I just had Eight of Pentacles. You might be working someplace new, and you meet this person, and their energy is a breath of fresh fucking air. And it's confirmation that you or that person is a healer. I saw a nurse specifically, but a technician, something like that. And it's literally at that Eight of uh, Pentacles, that work thing. Excuse me. I know. I know. It started out so strong, and then it degraded over time. I'm not going to lie to you, Capricorn. Your love energy is moving in another direction.
There it is. This offer does not, or this new person does not come in until this transition is complete. Whatever this was, where you can pinpoint their energy as being problematic, resistant, or rough, until that transition is complete, and then this new energy. It's just a matter of time. Is there anything else? No? One more? Okay. Anything else Capricorn needs to know? I told you, after the transition, Six of Swords, you can kind of pinpoint... Don't get me wrong, this person's always sort of had this behavior where they kind of withdraw. And then they come back. This time they didn't bounce back. They didn't come back, they didn't bounce back, they couldn't figure out what the problem is. And I don't think they want to. They seem to be content to just keep the status quo. And I told you it's not till the transition is complete. Whatever that transition is, that's when this energy comes in. So for some of you it might be six weeks. From now, uh, sword is typically weak, doesn't have to be. It could be the sixth of any given month. December 6th for some of you. 16th. I know. I know. I know. 6, 16th, 26. And then also six weeks from now. So that would, again, put us in January, around your birthday season. Hanged man, also the Piscean season. Chariot, there's this idea of every time I want to move forward, we don't go anywhere. Emotional stuckness. Again, water energy, Pisces, Cancer. That's how you opened up. I want to move forward, but nothing changes. I want to move forward, nothing changes. I want to move forward, nothing changes. There's that insistence again. I know. It's been in your mind for a while now. If the option's in love with this person and trying to resolve the issue, is that over? Okay. All right, anything else? Not this one. Okay. Anything else, please? Anything else, please? I know. Oh, soulmate and the chaser. You know, it feels like you've been chasing after this person. What would make you happy? Because you, there was a time when you two were very much in sync, and now you're not. Okay. And it just feels like you're forever chasing this person's energy. Uh, and you can't. You can't chase someone who doesn't want to be chased. Um... What, what is it? What is it? There's something wrong. I know something's wrong. I know something's wrong. And the other person's like, no, there's nothing wrong. Let's keep on wedding rings. Um, we just got to keep on keeping on. Thank you. You don't need to keep asking. Mask. And the inability to transform. Somebody wears a mask. They think that they have the strength to transform to be something more brilliant or stronger to, to, to fly faster. And they just can't. They, we think we've transformed here. No, we haven't. We haven't. Every time this person gets excited, they pull back their energy and they talk themselves out of it or they procrastinate it to death. Um, this person is incapable of transforming, but on the surface, all is well. There's something here they have not trans... Can I get more about why this person is so disconnected? Why are they so unhappy? <sighs> Karmic relationship tried to come out. They're just not engaged enough. Not in the right way. They're not engaged enough with themselves about what can take them higher. Again, understanding intellectually what it is that would actually make them happy or take them to the next level. They're completely disconnected from that experience, be it emotional, in a relationship, or otherwise. This person seems to think as long as I'm honoring the vows and the, the technicalities, all is well. You know, all is simpatico. No, it's not. Um... It's, it shows an inability for growth. They have an inability for growth over and over again, particularly where that emotionality is concerned. The thing is, what would make them happy? Or who would make them happy? They, they're not willing to explore that. 
or they were presented that at one point and they rejected it and talked themselves out of it, like I said, when we're confronted with it. But you don't seem to have the same problem. And I do know this. I'm not... This future energy, you're going to have several conversations with this person, polite, scheduled, and so forth, but I do know this. Um, you're going to end up choosing this, so I say. Tarot doesn't dictate action. You do. I see which way your energy is leaning towards. It's the person who is not afraid of life experiences. It's the person who is willing to transform. It is the person who is willing to push their boundaries and break them and go even further. They have goals, ambitions, and things. And that's what you are very attracted to. Again, the opposite of this. So I see which way, energetically speaking, you're going. This energy will not be introduced to you until this transition back here with this person is complete. In other words, whatever triggered this is done. You're either done moving or you're settled, you're fully relocated, or you've completely exited this energy when you realize nothing will ever change. For some of you, yes, there will be overlap. That's pretty tight. It's a pretty tight time frame. It could be that meeting this person is what puts you into that mindset of, oh, I realize too how unhappy I've been and emotionally disconnected I've been. And you have to keep in mind this person helped put you there. It wasn't for your lack of support, but it was for your lack of, you know, they weren't giving you anything to work with, not emotionally. You walked away from it a long time ago. You just now catch up to that in future. Anyway, whatever it is you choose, you have to enforce your decision. If you choose to stay, you got to be prepared to back that up. If you choose to embrace this new powerful energy, you got to be prepared to back that up. It will require a sacrifice of breaking ties with this person. It could be a fellow Capricorn or a sign in general. But it will require abandonment. Okay. All right. Any charms? Let's do this. Mm. Show me. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay. I told you, somebody's a nurse. <laughs> you can't see it, but this is a heart with a little nurse's cap on it. Uh, what you do is you make people feel better. Again, the health professions most likely. That's just what I saw very sharply before before we pulled temperance, which is also an indication of health and healer. Um, but yeah, I told you, some of you are nurses. I'm telling you, anchored. Many of you feel anchored to this situation or your committed person feels anchored to you. There's nothing we can do to change this. This is just the way it is. I'm anchored here and I have no plans to change that. Uh, and again, the motivation here for many person is that sense of comfort, i.e. material world money. A huge emphasis for your current partner. Um, Pegasus, flights of fancy. I can tell you that there's that inspirational energy I'm telling you right now. There's that sense of inspiration. You feel reinvigorated like there's wind under your wings and that kind of thing. This is a feline cat, however. It's very specific in that it has spots. Um... There might be something about leopards, leopard print. Somebody might favor leopard print kind of clothing. Or it's just a confirmation of cat. Cat with spots, cat with stripes. And then also that very strong sense of feline intuition. Yes, you have a big heart. Of course you do. You pulled up king and queen of cups in your own right uh, twice. Gecko fire sign. Um, Aries Leo Sag. We also have the dragon, which is the same concept, except also add Taurus to that. That's one of their spirit animals. Handcuff. It's like you have half a cuff. You know, it's, it's, or that the sense that you would like to break free. Again, another cap at this time with the big eyes. Huge sense of intuition someone has. The letters E and S. Again, more of that air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that dragonfly, as we were discussing, the ability to transform. Heavy fire and or taurine energy here, the octopus, many legs, um, very emotionally preoccupied, but n with still lacking direction, as you might think with an octopus legs. Like, there's a lot of feelings going on, but there's no cohesive concept of whether working as a team or that their emotions are in alignment, okay? A person's feeling a lot of feelings, but... There's no direction. Okay. And then the letter Y. Y, yes. Y, E, S, yes. Wow. So whatever it is that you were thinking, is that me? Yes. Is that them? Yes. Is that really true? Yes. Y, E, S, damn. Is it them? Is it that person? Yes. 
Yes. Or someone says yes a lot just to kind of shut the other person up. Just to get them to stop talking and be quiet. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. A. F. No, I'm sorry. No, that is F. It's just upside down. Fancy script. The planet's uh, confirmation again that some of you are dealing with an air sign, particularly Aquarius, and the infinity symbol it feels like it's been going on a very long time. Also could be confirmation of your future person as Aquarius as well. Okay, Capricorn, I hope that was helpful to you. Put it in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.